This is a demonstration of a new feature that CBE has brought for the standback users. That's incorporation of an in-dash boost gauge uh, that, that functions off the standback. Uh, CPE uses the speedometer as its boost gauge uh, and it has a user configurable setting for when the takeover takes place. In my case, my speedometer is set to take over at 4 PSI. I'll demonstrate that for you now. I'm currently in MAP2. MAP2 is set to 10 PSI boost. You see 10 PSI. There you go. That's 10 PSI. You can see it on the boost gauge. Now if I switch over to MAP1, that's one cycle of the hazard lights. You get positive feedback by the speedometer going to 10 miles an hour. And hazard lights blinking, single blinking. Here's 14 PSI, which is my MAP1. Again, the speedometer functions as a boost gauge uh, by a multiple of 10. So 10 PSI in my case is 100 miles an hour. 14 PSI in my case is 140 miles an hour. Again, the takeover point is user configurable. In my case, it's four PSI, but if uh, you wanted to, to only function as a speedometer, for the most part, you could set that value much higher so that it only happens at, at high boost levels. Uh, conversely, you could set it to take over at low boost levels if you wanted the speedometer to function more as a boost gauge. Uh, it's your call. That's one of the uh, options available for adjustment in the SAMBAC software. It's important to uh, point out that uh, CPE has a patent pen, patent application filed for this technology. It was filed back in June of 20, 2010. Uh, so this technology CPE has had and had perfected for some time. Uh, this is uh, just information because of the inevitable comparisons to uh, Vishnu. We just want to point out that we've had this technology for some time and we already have a patent application filed for it. So enjoy. It's one of the uh, many nice features that's brought to you by the standback.